Hello, Willard first graders. We've been thinking about vibrations. A vibration is just when something moves back and forth really, really fast. You can take your hand and you can make it vibrate. You can make it vibrate slow. You can make it vibrate really fast. Now, when things vibrate fast enough, they can make a sound that we can hear. For example, I showed you already a ruler. And if I hold that ruler down, and make it vibrate, it'll make a sound. Now, I don't know, well this is something that if you're careful, you can try this at home, don't push down too hard, you might break your ruler, but you can make the ruler vibrate. What if it's a long piece of wood? That's a low sound. The longer the piece of wood, the lower the sound. But if you make the vibrating piece of wood shorter, you get higher and higher sounds. So depending on how long the vibration is, how long the piece of wood is that's vibrating, you'll get different sounds. And what people realized is that they could control this they could make different things vibrate and you can get different sounds you can make music if you can make different notes some are high and some are low you can make music now there's different ways to make vibrations in something so there's different ways to make music one way to make vibrations in something is to hit it this drum makes sound when you hit the top. I have a little drumstick here. And when I hit the top, the hit makes the top vibrate and the vibrations make the sound. Can you see the vibrations? You can't really see the vibrations. But if I put some small objects on top of the drum, like these little toothpicks, and I spread them out, When I hit the drum now, the vibrations in the drum and in the head of the drum, in the top of the drum, the vibrations are going to make the toothpicks vibrate too. So we can't see the vibrations very well in the top of the drum, but we know they're there because we can see what the vibrations do to the toothpicks. You ready? They bounce all over the place. And they don't just bounce once, they bounce and you can hear them. They bounce a little bit longer. As long as the drum head is vibrating, those toothpicks are in motion. You ready? One more time. When I hit the top of the drum, I make the drum vibrate and the vibrations make sound. A second way to make vibrations in something, to make, um, to make a sound, is to have air vibrating. Air is moving. So I have here a straw. And if you've ever had a straw before, you might have noticed that sometimes you can make a fancy sound. If you hold it underneath your lips, or right against your bottom lip, and then stick out your top lip like this, and blow down, you can make the, you can make the air move very quickly through the straw, and it will make a sound. You hear that? So I can change the length of the straw by cutting off pieces of it and listen to how the tone changes. Listen to how the note changes. Do you hear it changing as the straw gets shorter and shorter? I'll make it even shorter. It's hard. <laughs> The moving air, the vibrations in the straw make sound. A third way that you can make vibrations in something, in a musical instrument especially, is to have a string and you make the string vibrate. 
So I have here a super duper giant rubber band. I'm going to put my foot on the bottom of it and then raise it up. So here it is. And when I make the string vibrate, it makes a sound. You can see it vibrating. Now I'm going to take a, take a, take a shorter piece and I'm going to make it vibrate. And shorter. And shorter. And shorter. Do you hear the tone changing? Do you hear the note changing as I make the rubber band piece that's vibrating? Shorter and shorter. And tighter and tighter. So all instruments, any instrument you can play, any in instrument you hear in a band or in an orchestra, is making music. It's making music by making vibrations in one of three ways. One, you're hitting the instrument. Two, you're making air move through the instrument, and that's vibrating. Three, there's strings, and you're making the strings vibrate. In my next video, we will think about some different musical instruments and how they make sound. I'll see you next time.